Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, what is today anyway? Today is the 28th, August 28th, it's Tuesday. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and you know, so this could be yesterday, the day before, the day after, next week, this week, last week, you know, timing is fluid. So, this is what I'm picking up on today. This is for all signs, and it, this reading may not even resonate with you at all, okay? This typically resonates with my tribe, my people. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is forgiveness, period within a family. And this could have to do with passing away because I see like this angel up here. So I don't know if there's something that you're harboring. It could be resentment. It could be needing to forgive yourself. Or just forgive your parents, or who knows, but this is about healing. You know, because tomorrow isn't promised. Today isn't even promised. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this card, it really makes sense. Because I think last night, I mean, I don't know about you, but last night I went through a moment of, of negative thinking. You know, yesterday there was a shift. So when you think negative, try to, try to change it back to the positive. Stay optimistic. Forgiveness is needed. These just flew out. You may not have seen it, and I'm sure somebody will be saying, No, 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 you did that on purpose. Okay. Somebody is definitely protecting themselves. Protecting themselves from an opportunity that could be better. I feel like somebody has probably lost their focus for a minute. Here we have denial and protection. Um, I need to make a choice. I need to make a decision. It's a painful choice. It's a painful decision. Something that, you know, is going to make me unblock my heart. Unblock the truth. <laughs> Whew, look at the reversals. I did that on purpose, too. Um, anyhow, um, I didn't do that on purpose. I just wanted to, you know, I have to think positive at this time. And you guys may be going through bouts of negative thinking today as well. As we go through a shift, it's, it's likely to go back and forth. Okay. Somebody is, is definitely, it could be an earth sign. Okay. Look at the earth energies. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Okay. Thinking negative. Okay, so yesterday there was a shift. Today there's we're right back at it, right back into that negative thinking. Um, there's a feeling of, you know what, I, I, I don't, it's not about love. It's about everything but love today. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm ungrounded. I'm, in, I'm unstable. I'm insecure. When I say I'm, I'm talking about all of us. A feeling of perhaps jealousy, 
um, possessiveness. Uh, <laughs> wow. The earth energies, I mean, they're all reversed, so things are definitely unstable and insecure at this time. Somebody is, is blocking security from coming in. Wow. But there's hope. There is hope. Yeah, but it's, oh, okay, so there is an opportunity for love if somebody can accept the truth of a situation, but accepting a new opportunity is the hardest part. Somebody has manifested with these three ones, they've manifested a, a new opportunity to have. It's being given to you from above. It's like it's heaven sent. It's like heaven is, has given you an opportunity. But it's like it's being refused because somebody is in denial. Okay? We have denial here. Somebody is ungrounded. Unable to forgive. There's been no apology. And that has made somebody feel... Withdrawn and stubborn and and cold. <laughs> um, lack of confidence. Lack of ambition. Lack of drive. You may feel like at this time, you know, I don't, I don't have any desire to even put myself out there anymore. I feel like there's a, there's a, a contract that has ended um, harshly. This contract ended and somebody does not want to come to terms with it. I don't want to believe it, even though it's the truth. And there's a new opportunity for love, perhaps with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But somebody, it could be with anybody, but this is what I see. There's an opportunity for love with somebody that is stable and secure. But you may be thinking, you know, it's not about love right now today. Today it's not, I'm not focused on love. I'm focused on everything but love because I'm still protecting myself, okay? I got my heart guarded. I'm not ready to let love in. Now, I feel like there's there's been some sort of arguments, there's been some sort of conflict regarding a decision. And this could be even you arguing with yourself about a soulmate connection. You know, because there is a soulmate connection here, and this could be a soulmate connection with any sign. When you have the king and queen of the same sign right next to each other in a reading with the lover's card, there's a soulmate connection here that somebody is in denial about. Okay, they are. And there's an opportunity for new love. But somebody has to wake up and smell the coffee about the, the opportunity that wasn't solid and allow this new opportunity to come in. You know, and it's like you've manifested this new opportunity, but you, you know, there's a roller coaster ride here where I'm back and forth, back and forth. And I feel like today is a day where somebody needs to. Probably, maybe even choose between two options. Do you move forward or do you stay where you're at? Do you have the energy? Do you have the ambition? Do you have the drive? Do you have the, the mental capacity to, to forgive the past and move forward? I mean, do you? Whatever is happening is, was given to you from above. It is a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. I feel as though somebody isn't treating themselves with integrity by wearing this mask, by pretending that this contract that they are holding on to or had or was in was 
was their wish fulfillment. You know, if somebody was, is, or was holding on to something that wasn't meant to be, and they aren't letting it go, even though it's over with. It's over. It's over. And it's time for you to wake up and allow this golden opportunity that is being handed to you to be accepted instead of throwing it away. So I feel like somebody may be throwing away a golden opportunity from somebody that is stable and secure because they are refusing to accept the truth of, of, of this contract that ended. You know what I mean? There is. There's somebody here that is holding on, holding on to a connection that is no more. It's no more. And you're not treating yourself with integrity by doing that. So I feel like this, this really pertains to earth signs, particularly because of all the earth signs. Um, it could be a fire sign. We have air signs. Um, whatever. We have all the signs here. But I feel as though there is an opportunity for new love, for something pure. Okay, something pure. If somebody would wake up and, and accept the truth, you are being given some clarity. And the fact of the matter is, is that you have to to see things as they are. You know, you have to really accept the truth. And somebody really, really, really does not want to do that. There's, there's no doubt about it. I'm in denial here. I'm ungrounded. Queen of denial, queen of ungrounded. You know, this one is stubbornly holding on to something that isn't no longer stable and secure. So I feel like there's an opportunity that is being missed or thrown away with somebody new because somebody is holding on to something that is a lie. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear this. I don't even want to hear it. But it's the truth. And the truth hurts. The truth cuts. We're going to get some clarifiers. You have to stay optimistic instead of thinking negatively. And somebody is. They're back to on the negative train. But there, there is a blessing here. You are being blessed with something new. If you accept the truth and you wake up. And you release that baggage. You make a conscious change. Zoe. Sorry. You make a conscious change to let go of the burdens, the baggage, the stuff that no longer serves you. You complete that cycle, and the new comes in. Yeah, there's the roller coaster I was telling you about. <laughs> Things are unbalanced, back and forth, back and forth. Somebody may be trying to escape the reality, hoping things will come back around, hoping that they can manifest this name into existence, you know, you can't put a name on it when you manifest. You can manifest your true love and the universe will bring you your true love, but you can't put a name on that true love. So I feel as though, you know, somebody is go is, is on a, an emotional roller coaster of positive versus negative. I want, I don't want. This is secure, this isn't secure. I'm in denial, I accept. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Go. Zoe, out. Somebody is, is staying in a situation that is comfortable, but and it's safe, but it's emotionally tormenting. I refuse. Look at this. It's funny how I put it over here. I refuse to see the truth. I refuse. 
but it's killing me. It's killing me. There's a... Uh, it's time for you to free yourself. To unbound yourself from these negative thoughts. From this trap that you've allowed yourself to stay in. You've allowed it. So you can put those swords down. You can drop it. You can walk away. You could ask for help. Anything. You could get the hell out of here at any time. But you're indecisive. indecisive. You have a lot of indecision about letting this contract finally end. The time is now with this eight. You have the power to free yourself, take the masks off, and walk away at any time. But... You don't have any desire to really do so. Even though there's no growth. There's no expansion. There's no more flame. And now we have what? Four ones? Two of them are reversed and two of them are upright. There's no more growth. There's nothing solid with whatever it is that you're holding on to. It's done. It's over. It's, the, the fire has been put out. And there's a new opportunity. If you could see this clearly, there's a new opportunity for love. If you step off, side, off of the roller coaster and you make a conscious change to let go of the burden and the baggage. Your thoughts truly do become things with these ones. And if you think you can't move on, then you can't move on. Somebody is, is going through a spiritual awakening with all these ones. Two steps forward, three steps back. Two are upright, two are reversed. Hanging on to a soulmate connection, it was, that is no longer meant to be it's over it's done you need to step outside of it there's hope for new love this was a blessing in disguise you were being protected but I refuse to see that I'm going to block the truth and suffer. So anyway, I feel like today is a day where there's an opportunity for new love. If somebody could allow, allow it to grow, allow it to happen. New love. Make a conscious change to accept, wake up, new love. This is making the conscious change. Get off the roller coaster. You can't make somebody love you. This is turning silver to gold. It's reversed. You can't make somebody love you. And I know that hurts. And I'm a bitch. Some of you, that's what you're saying. You can't. There's an opportunity for new love here. If you free yourself from the heavy weight that you have been carrying around, 
Drop it. Throw it off. Burn it. There's no wish fulfillment holding on to that situation that has no more flame. There's no abundance in it. There's no love there. It's time to move on. <laughs> I should have stopped. Tower. There's going to be a faded event. And I know that this is a rude awakening. I know. But whatever this rude awakening is, it's going to allow you to love again. It's going to bring love into your life. Blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. You are being protected. So I feel like today is a day that it, there were, or tomorrow, that there, or yesterday, where there is going to be a shake-up that perhaps helps you to release something that has no more growth that makes you take the mask off, okay? That makes you decide to step out of this trap that you've left yourself in. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, your, and you know, Maybe there's abandonment issues, and that's why you're hanging on to somebody. That happens a lot, you know? If you were abandoned, you tend to hang on. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. You deserve to be loved. I don't need the card. Let go of the negative thoughts. Make a conscious change to free yourself from the past, from the baggage. There's an opportunity for a new love, raw opportunity for the beginning of a new love. You know, and I almost feel like this is the this is the death of something. No, the dog's gonna start barking, but that's all right. Synchronicity. Are you notice the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just not appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Pay attention to the signs at this time. Nothing is a coincidence. And with that, I will let you go. Talk to you later.